Now, on Windows 8, there was a big debate about where the shutdown function was located. And Windows 10 has been relocated here to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen underneath your Start menu. But today, I'm going to show you how to add a shortcut to your desktop or a tile to your Start menu to shut it down directly. So we're going to create a desktop shortcut to this function that we're going to create. So let's go here, right-click and say New, Shortcut. Now we're going to type in the location of a file that's already on the computer. And it's in your Windows directory. And by the way, you'll find the link to this in the description for the video if you want to cut, cut and paste it into your thing while you're doing it. But we're going to type in WinDir, which is the location of your Windows directory. And we're going to go to the System32 directory underneath that. Now your system should show the files that are underneath there. And we're going to look for the one that says uh, Slide to Shutdown. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and say OK on that. Click on the Next. And we can rename it here. I'm just going to take the EXE off of it for now. And then we're going to just say uh, finish after that. So there it is. So all we have to do is click on it. And it should invoke a system shutdown with a slide function. And there you have it. So I have to do a slide down to shut off your PC. So what we're left with here is uh, what in truth is a really ugly icon. So we're going to take advantage of a function that's been in Windows for years. And we're going to change that icon. So we're going to go down and right click and say properties. I'm going to click on Change Icon. Now you notice that the file it's trying to run doesn't have any icon images embedded in the file. So it's going to go out and automatically find us some icons in the System32 uh, file. So if we browse around here in a bit and we find an icon that may symbolically represent the function we're going to do. In the System32 file there are dozens of icons in here. So let's look around here and see if we find one that uh, can represent the shutdown. And sure enough, uh, there's one. It's a down arrow, so let's go ahead and use that. Just click on OK, and you notice it's changed that icon. So there's the icon for the desktop. Let's try and make a tile for the, uh, in case you're running in either tablet mode. There you go, and we're going to use a, uh, put one on the start menu. So let's go over here, we'll grab the icon, we'll say right click, and we'll say pin the start. Now if we bring up the regular start menu, there it is, and we scroll down to the bottom. And sure enough, there it is. I'm just going to move it here in a place of prominence right in the middle of the screen. So remember, if you're running in desktop with the start menu like this, or if you're in tablet mode, it's the same set of tiles. So when we go in tablet mode, there it is, right there in the middle of the screen. Available for you to use. You click on it to uh, invoke the shutdown command for your system. Again, there you have it. The lazy man's way to shut down your system. One click right in the middle of your desktop or your start menu. And uh, you're good to go. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.